Hi, it's me, Aubrey. Do you remember when we read this book, Llama Llama Red Pajama? Do you remember where was Baby Llama? He is here. He's going to bed. And do you remember when Little Llama gets very scared? Oh, here he is, really scared because he doesn't know where his mama is. Well, today for our craft, we're going to make a blanket like Baby Llama has. So if we look here in the book, it shows us what his blanket is like. Do you see all of these shapes? They are squares. So today we're going to make a blanket with different squares. Let me show you how. Be making a blanket like this out of paper. Let me show you. You need many different colors of paper. Any colors will do. To prepare your paper, you need to make strips. So using the short side of the paper, we want to cut rectangles. Try to maybe cut about, I don't know, maybe eight rectangles could fit here but use different colors, whatever you like. I have my different paper strips here. Now, you need one full paper. With this paper, we're going to fold it in half. All right. Get your scissors ready. We're going to cut slits into the paper. We want to cut from the side that is folded. That is very important. Let me show you. I'm going to try to do my paper slits about the same width as my paper strips. It does not have to be perfect. When you cut your slits, do not go all the way to the edge of the paper. Leave a space. Do you see? I do not go to the edge of the paper. You can cut as many slits as you like. The more you cut, the more challenging your quilt will be. All right. I cut one, two, three, four, five, five times. So my paper now looks like this. I'm going to open up my blanket and you can see it's all still connected because I didn't cut to the ends. All right. Now comes the fun part. Pick whatever color strip of paper you want to start with. And we are going to go under and over and under and over. Watch. This first part, I'm going to open up and put my strip under. Now the second slit, I'm going over. The next time I want to go under, over, under, and I end with over, like this. So I'm going to drag my piece of paper all the way down to where the end is. And that's my first row of squares. Pretty cool. If you want to make this very secure, you can use glue just a little bit on the end to glue your paper strip in place. And now it will not move around. All right, let's pick a different color. How about orange? Now I see that this strip here, is, the blue is under. So this time I'm going to put the orange over. Under, over, under, over, and under. All right. I'm going to continue doing this under, over, under, over until I fill my whole paper with different color strips. So our end quilt or blanket looks like this. I've glued down the edges so that they don't fall out when I shake it. How beautiful, huh? Looks kind of like Baby Llama's quilt with the squares. Do you see?
Okay, now, if this project looks a little challenging for you, there's another way you can do this quilt. So here's option number two. Remember all of those strips of paper that you made? Now we are going to cut them into squares. So very easily, you just snip, 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 more or less into squares. And now watch. I'm going to take a new piece of paper. So this is our blanket back. I have all my colors here. I'm going to start at the very corner and put some glue. A little bit of glue and my first color will be red. All right, move across the row, maybe this time a pink. And then another color, maybe yellow this time. And I'm gonna continue gluing my squares until I get all the way across the row. All right, when I finish one row, I'm going to go to the next row. It looks really nice if the colors are different. So try to get a lot of different colors and put them all over your quilt. You continue doing this, gluing squares, until the whole paper is covered and in the end, you will have a quilt. So this is another option if you want to have squares of a quilt, like Baby Llama. So now you have two ideas of how to make Baby Llama's blanket. I hope you have a lot of fun. I'll see you later.